Hi guys, it's day five and the six o'clock in the evening. Um, so Fern's eight weeks old and five days old. We've had her for five days now. And what I'm going to do is a bit further work with having her on a lead. Um, so if you've not seen it, there's another video where I just introduced her to being on a lead and having some restriction around her neck. She wasn't phased in the slightest by that. I've done it three or four times with her today since that first video and she's not bothered about it in the slightest. So I'm going to progress from that to having a natural lead on it and seeing if she'll walk around the room or seeing if I can walk around the room with it. Um, the leads I've got, I've got a different lead, a bit of a heavy lead so she can actually feel it around her neck. And if she does, isn't phased by this one, I've got a, an even heavier one in my pocket. Because I want her to know that there's something around her neck and there is some kind of restriction there. And I'm just trying to get her comfortable with having that restriction there. And with having me on the end of it eventually. So I'll attach it on. As always, when we're trying to build a good association, I've got food, so it's, it's food time for her, dinner time for her. Um, little fidgeter. So it, what I'm going to do is, while she's got this on her neck, I'm just going to feed her and hopefully she'll learn the association with having this on my neck is a good thing because I get fed. and move her around a little bit so that the weight of it on it being pulled she, she's aware of it and she knows about it Come on in. so there's no negativity or adverse reaction so far fingers crossed we can keep it that way good gear good gear that tail's going like a Train, which is what we want. Good gear. Good gear. Good gear. Good gear. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go a little bit further now and pick it up so that she's got something on her neck. Good gear. Good gear. They're nice. They're nice. You're not bothered about this, are you? Good gear. What's that? What's that? What's that? So doing it this way is a far better introduction than waiting for the day that she's had her final jabs and then she's all clear by the vets to go out for a walk, whacking a lead on her and towing around the block just so you can take your puppy out for the first time. Get her everything done in the house, get her introduced to everything in the house where there's all good feelings and positivity. Don't do everything for the first time outside. So what I'm going to try and do now is I'm just going to, going to try and walk around a little bit on a loose lead. So she follows me and she knows she's got the lead on. And we're going to try and keep it lead, loose. There's a good gear. Good gear. And what I'm going to do when I'm feeding her as well, I'm not feeding her up here so she jumps to it. I'm feeding her at her level because we don't want jumping. There's a good gear. Is that nice? Is that nice? So we'll walk around a little bit. Good gear. Good gear, lead loose all the time. Good gear. Later on down the line, we want the lead tight so we can teach her what it means, but for now, everything's loose. She knows it's there. I don't think she does absolutely, she's just that obsessed with the food. Good gear, good gear, good gear. Get on money, good gear. The problem with the long leads like this and little tiny puppies, they get trapped behind their heads and be underneath the legs and under the body and everything. It gets annoying. Is that nice? You don't even care about this lead, do you? Do you? You're just going to come with me. Aren't you? In there. There we go. There we go. Good girl. And I'm just going to keep on repeating this process. Um, at food time sometimes. And I'm just going to do it throughout the day randomly. And if you watch a tail go, Good girl, good girl. Praise is all she needs. She doesn't need food, so we don't need to treat her with food or reward her with food. Um, and if, if we come to the stage where we do, then I'll, I'll involve that. Um, but for now, praise is enough and um, a little bit of a cuddle is enough for her, so we don't need to. Just, just going to, as the days go by, I'm just going to extend the distance we're walking around the house with the lead and uh, keeping it loose all the time. And then in another video, I'll explain 
what to do about when the lead goes tight and how to teach the dog what it means and how to m make it better for herself. Come on in, come on in, come on in. There you go. But for now, that'll do. Thank you very much.